The player with the best bank shot in the NBA is... Well, I think Randolph uh, is a great bank shot shooter. Debo makes the move again to Max Seal. Bangs it home and is fouled. Oh, 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 sweetness. A little plexi action. And the bank is open for the big fella. Seabo's going to take him inside, throw it up, and bank it in! How in the world did Randolph get that one to fall? Also, Luis Scola can use very well the, the glass. Spins in. Luis. Spins. The Argentinian tango! And it's burned. Scola again. Nice job of... It off the Players with the best bank shot, Dirk and Whiskey on the low. Whiskey has Fisher on him. He's the height advantage. The runner backs it in. There is no one in the league better at taking off balance shots and either swishing it if he's in the paint or playing the glass like that. He made that look easy. He's just so good at getting the right angle over there off either block. If you crowd him, he draws a foul, and if you don't, then he just that bank shot and knocks it in. Oh, you have to be kidding me. The bank is still open on Sunday night. The player with the best bank shots, Tim Duncan, no question. You know, I think that's a go-to. Tim Duncan with a hook off glass. That's some vintage Tim Duncan right there. He really brought back using the backboard as a weapon in the NBA. He's mastered it. He's done it numerous of times. Once he finds his mark on the glass, it's going in. And the bank is open. The kiss right off the glass. The banker, the foul, a chance at a three-point play. That's the first first one that comes to mind, big fundamentals. You just know you don't want to give him that shot on either side. He's pretty accurate. I say he's probably uh, the best. There's another one. Oh, that's a sky drop glasser. That's right. <laughs> Tim Duncan's going to the Hall of Fame based on many reasons, but including the fact that he has made that shot consistently from day one in the NBA.